Welcome to the Narrowboat the James Built. Hope you're well, thanks for joining me. Well, this lot is to uh, erect a frame at the back of the boat. So we're getting to the point now where the cover's gonna be on it all the time. And uh, I met a guy last week that is gonna be able to fashion something a bit more permanent for me. But in order to do that and to kind of keep me going until then, I'm gonna make one out of this lot. When the cover's in place, certainly in the winter where it's kind of most most often in place it's a real pain to get in because these are all okay i've taken it off for the poster so this but these are all cable tied up to here and as a result of which there's no comfortable access to it so it's a bit of a nightmare so i think lifting it up will be uh, will be good and obviously i need to get the contour of it right so that it hangs nicely so when I'm moored up, this is how I have it in kind of convertible mode. So I don't take the cover fully off. I keep it there just in case I need to leave the boat or it starts to rain or something like that. That works all right. The advantage of doing it today, obviously it's sunny, uh, but also it's quite warm, which has made this really quite malleable, uh, which is what I'm going to need it to be in order to kind of make it easier to work with. So um, basically I met this guy last week that uh, used to build staging uh, for theatres and stuff um, and he's trying his hand at different stuff and I was talking to him about living on a narrow boat and uh, he wanted to basically make a pram hood he said he's got loads of stainless steel tubing and all the machinery to um, to bend the pipe work and stuff um, and he's got loads of experience in getting fabric and stuff all right um, and um, for staging outdoor events and things so he said he'd like to give it a go on my boat and use it as a prototype so that's pretty good um, and kind of turnaround time he reckons kind of a few weeks so happy days really what I want to do is make up a frame as I said to um, so yeah I guess it will it will serve two purposes it will show me what kind of proportions I need but it will also give me something to live with for the, until, until it comes um, so it's going to be in two parts basically for the time being anyway so i'm going to have a lower bit here which i'm going to call the cut the skirt and it's going to go from this side of the uh of the boat round the back here underneath the rail and it's going to go between the rail and the lip so it's going to pr protect the all of the back from kind of side winds and um and kind of rain coming in sideways and stuff and then the tr structure at the top is going to rest on the gunnel so it's going to give it some downward strength it's going to be kind of six foot high uh, and then this is going to go over it and somehow clamp in pace i haven't got really a clue of how to do that yet uh, obviously the burning question you'll all be saying is what about bridges well there's no low bridges around here that i wouldn't be able to get through with that up but that's going to be one of the things i have to work out is the overall proportions and stuff so i'm going to see what it like and i also i can always kind of take bits off and trim it if i need to but for the time being, the first thing to do is get the skirt bit done, I guess, and then get the frame, I don't know, no, get the frame done first and then the skirt. Yeah, I'll do that. So the skirt part is gonna go, start here, kind of follow that line, so it's gonna be angled, and it's gonna go from up here, angle down to the top of that rail there, it's gonna go on the outside of all of those rails there, those uprights, and then it's gonna go and anchor back to there. So that the idea is I can unpin it there and gain access nice and easily, and the same on the other side. But also on the other side, it will just give a bit of support so people don't fall out the boat that way, which hasn't happened yet, but I'm petrified of doing, including myself. Okay, so I've got a position, there's a few ways of doing this, these uprights. So basically, when I put the cover on, the cover rested about up to about there. And the corner part, that angle there, and where it kind of bends down, was, at the, was flush to there, and it only came up to about there. So it's basically about 50 centimetres of kind of movement downwards. So basically, it can come up 50 centimetres. And then it should, the same will work, therefore, that if it was up at this level, then the bottom of it would be at the same level as that. And then the skirt will be from there downwards. So that will, that will work. There won't be a gap between the bottom of the cover 
and the skirt. So I'm looking at a height of about, what did I say? Right, that's 60. So that needs to be 110, which is up to about there. So if I oversize it and do 120, what's that, four foot? And then six foot here at the middle bit. That'll be the plan. And then in terms of actual positioning, I'm just gonna basic my plan for this particular task. Obviously it's not gonna be a long-term solution is to cable tie this to this. There's no decent way of doing it. Obviously when I do it properly, there'll be decent anchors you can get. So it's whether it goes vertically up, the top of the fabric was there and it did flare out a bit. So I don't think it matters, but the gap between here and there where it tapers in the middle, obviously I can't have much movement there. So if I went vertically up, I think from the bottom, like that, then the outs that will be too far outwards. It needs to be further in than that. So then it needs, but if I taper it that way, then by the time it gets to this height, it's too far into the boat. I'm losing too much height. So I think I want a kind of a bit of a, a mix of both worlds. I think I want it a bit like that. So it comes in a bit, but not fully. And then I can, it will rest on the, on the gunnel. So the weight of the actual, um, kind of uh, framework will be resting on the gunnels and just kind of tied in place for the moment one's there and one there and I think I might put a little bit of foam behind it so it just um, takes in a bit of the vibrations when the boat's moving right it doesn't look pretty yet well I don't think it's going to but uh, the uprights are in or well, six of them are. I've got one more to do there. And then I'm gonna put uh, a central one in, join that up somehow, and then put a central beam in coming to the uh, roof of the boat and somehow connecting it there. And then from there, up straight to that bit there. So the next bit after that will be to do some kind of central beam. Okay, so whilst it's like this, before I go any further, I'll just put the cover on to kind of get an idea as to where I am with it. So it's a little bit too high. There's too much of an air gap there and it overhangs on the boat enough. So that's okay. I don't want it to overhang too much, but um, I think, and therefore the top of it still needs to come up for that apex there to work. It needs to come up by another kind of 20 centimeters from the height of that. Um, so, but I think these sides need to come down a little bit. I've trimmed those side ones down by 10 centimeters. So now I'll just put one going across there and then one on top of that. And I reckon that will give me enough height to then have it sloping downwards from the back of the boat to there. That's what I'm reckoning. Right, so I've put in a, just temporarily, a beam there in the middle. I've got the uprights at the front. That's not quite central yet, but I think, I think this is gonna work okay. Ideally, I could do with it coming up a little bit more, but that ain't gonna happen just yet. But I'm gonna carry on going, manipulate it until it's in shape, basically. Right, it's getting pretty dark now, but I'm really chuffed with how this has worked. Um, as a mock-up, or as a kind of a prototype, the way this is kind of configured is gonna be great because it kind of gives me the right proportions, but also it's really livable with like this. So I've got it in its kind of open position, which will be fine. It's all kind of nicely tethered down, so it's not gonna move anywhere. But more importantly, it all hangs nicely so when I put the skirt on around here which will kind of stretch all the way up to here in fairness as well um, it will overhang so there should be no water penetration at all happy days all right so this is what it's uh, it's how I left it last night basically 
So it's all cable tied in place at the bottom. The bottom edge is the right height, that all works fine. And when it's in its new kind of convertible mode, that also works fine. Obviously the frame's pretty uh, unattractive at the moment and from the front it looks dreadful. Uh, but in terms of proportions, this is all right. I've got rid of that bit there, that supporting beam, because it made getting into the boat not particularly easy. Um, and when the frames, when the cover's on, it hooks onto that okay. So, and I needed it to be higher than that. So I've all, I'm going to basically have a massive air gap here when the, when the cover's in place, which I'm going to have to address. But at the moment, the next thing to address is the skirt. So I've got to do that today, basically. And yeah, I don't really know where to start. I guess I should start with the actual stuff I'm going to be making the skirt from. I got myself some eyelets. So these are uh, 10 mil rust proof brass eyelets. And this is the material I've got which I'm kind of pretty happy with. Uh, it's burgundy, waterproof, kind of, I don't know what they call it. Got, I'll get the details um, from the email, but I've kind of bought it blind. I bought it online. Um, I bought six metres of it, um, and it's kind of really hard wearing, um, and water should just basically bead off it. Um, obviously, it's all going to be in a vertical position, and my idea is to basically trim it down, hem it using eyelets and then use cable ties and then eventually cord to put the eyelets all around the kind of the, the outside frame of the boat. That's going to be the plan. It looks like it's been cut nicely there and it doesn't fray or anything. So that looks pretty good. Same with that one there. So as long as I kind of cut it in a straightish line, I should appear to be all right with this. I've only got, these things are really expensive. Well, I went to Hobbycraft, so that is expensive. Um, but this was like a tenner just for 15 of these. And obviously I'll probably need about 30. So I have bought 30, uh, but I think I'm going to need like loads and loads more um, of maybe just kind of other type of ones, maybe not eyelets, but like, pins or something I don't know um, to give it a bit more rigidity and shape I've also bought some iron-on interfacing uh, which is could be used just to just to kind of secure the hem down a little bit more but I don't know yet I'm gonna see if just this works on its own I've had to come to the lock landing to lay all this stuff out. I've got six metres of this waterproof, heavy-duty 600 denier canvas with PVC backing. So I'm trimming it all down to um, to size. So I've got five centimetre kind of excess top and bottom for the, uh, for the hemming. But this is the only place I could do it. So I could take the off-cut away. And this I will take back to the boat and see if I can well, wrap it round and start hemming it. Right, so... This is the piece of fabric. I've got six meters of this stuff, but I don't want to, uh, I don't really know how much I'm going to need. Um, I think it's going to be about that, obviously, hence the fact I bought it, but um, I don't want to waste any. So I'm just going to hem the end of it like that. I was going to do it at an angle to meet the contour of the boat, but I'm just going to think sod it. I'm just going to make life easy for myself on this first one. I've always got another piece anyway. My problem is I've got a finite amount of these eyelets um, and I was gonna have one at the top and one at the bottom here, but then it'll gape quite a lot. It's not exactly very taut in the middle. So I bought some of that iron-on stuff, which I think I might have to do, but I haven't got an iron on board. So I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to basically do that retrospectively, which is fine, I can do that, but. The first job is to do one of these. Now I've never done this before. It says to break the fabric, basically put that on there, put the fabric in there and then hit it 
with this. So you put the fabric in there, hit it through there, and that punches a hole through it, which I can understand, but this now is going through two bits of that, and I reckon that's going to be a touch bit too much for it. I'm going to give it a go, and then if it doesn't work, I can always do it again. Ah, now, hang on, that's not going to work right, is it? I wanted to do that one on the same as that one that bends over there. Hmm. Maybe I should do one in the middle. Okay, I'll do one in the middle. Right. So. I don't want it quite near the end. I'm just going to measure it against my finger for all of these. So the first crease in my finger is where it's going to be. That looks about right. What do I do? Punk to the hole, that's it. And then that on there, find the little thingy, and get the influencer. Oh shit, I think I missed it. Oh, by Jove, it's worked. Okay. There's a nice hole through that. There's the two bits of fabric it's punched out. Right, now, now the idea is you use that thing again. I don't know, what do you do? You poke that thing through first. Yeah, that's it. You poke that through first. Then you put him on there. Here we go. And then you put him on there. And then you put him on there. What way up does that go there? It must go smooth edge in. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you put him on here. No, that's done nothing. Maybe a harder hit. either although it's starting to I can't get the thing off now right more hitting oh yes here we go oh no oh yes it worked yes Blimey, look at that! It's actually worked! That looks nice! Oh yes! I mean that's on the inside so it doesn't really matter about that. Cool, right. Oh, celebratory cup of tea, I think, is in order now. Happy days. Yes. Check it out. That's actually quite nice. So that's the first side done three of them oh yeah look at that that's actually for me not bad cool the corners were fine to do on the boat but i needed loads more space to do the long length so i've come to the lock to uh 
use the balance beam here to uh, get it all right even though the wind keeps blowing it off this is all right I've done loads of these now so I consider myself to be a bit of an expert so here's a close-up so first thing you need to do is punch the hole so you get that piece there put that over it get the ball part which basically just forces it through that bladed area put it on something solid And there's the hole. And where's the other little bit? And there it is. And the bits of fabric have been punched through. So they move out of the way. You got your hole. Put the rivet part through the hole, like that. It's a nice clean fit. Put the groove of that into the groove of the mould. Put the oh put the top part on it. Put the ball part in there. Put it on something solid again. And hammer it down. there we have it jobs are good and... right I've definitely got the color of this right it's only being held on on the top so I haven't done the bottom yet at all but that works so well yeah I'm chuffed with that the only thing I need to do I've got a few more of these to put in I'm gonna do some more along the tops uh, but these I'm going to swap with elastic ones. These are pretty good actually. I'll show you on this one here. These are releasing cable ties, which I haven't seen before. How good is that? Right, well, this is very much version one of the uh, pram hood. It's made a real big, big difference in terms of like wind and making it much more kind of uh, warm and dry in the back of the boat. It definitely gives you a sense of a third room or an extra room or bigger space at the back of the boat as well, which is great. Um, I'm really happy with how the skirts come out. That's brilliant, the color's brilliant. I think that's gonna be the color of the main bit when I do it, but I reiterate, before you all jump on the comments and say, oh, it looks dreadful, blah, blah, you should get it properly done. I am getting it properly done. It's just that I needed to make this frame in order to get all the proportions because to measure it on a sketch pad without having it in situ is really hard. So I've done it like this. Um, but yeah, it serves a purpose, it's great. Obviously, I've still got quite a lot of modifications to do. Um, first off, I need to put some lights on the inside, but I also need to do a cut in the back to make room for the tiller um, so that it can move freely when I'm navigating but yeah that's cool anyway hope you guys are well until next time take care bye bye